Hi guys, this is Mikhail here for another device deal video. Today we are looking at another brand of business IP phones. This time we're looking at one of our new partners, Fanville. So Fanville themselves have been in the market for over 20 years and they've got a quite a nice variety of phones. Everything from high-end enterprise phones all the way to entry level or call center type phones and a lot of stuff in between. Not only that, but they've even got a wireless option as well to give you some more versatility. So Fanville, as mentioned, have a few different kind of series of phones that break it up into different categories. So we're going to go through a couple of those ourselves, including ones that we've tested ourselves. So the first one we're going to look at is the V series, which is considered their high end or enterprise grade phones, which is one of these as an example there. Uh, first thing I want to, want to mention about this series is that they all have built in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, except for the V62. Uh, that would need some dongles. So that already on its own is a pretty cool, you know, handy feature because even comparing to Yearlink, there's only quite a limited amount of phones that have built in Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So if we're going to look at the flagship model, which is the V67, that one has a lot of cool features like a built-in camera, so you can do video conferencing, uh, Android operating system, so you've got a lot more control and you can put in some additional applications on the phone. And then you can also juggle, I think it's 20 lines, uh, you know, video calling or conference calling, and it's got really good sound quality as well. So now in the same series, I also just want to briefly talk about the V65, which is a phone that I've personally been using and testing for the past about month or two. And I've been very impressed with its performance. So one thing I like about it is the fact that it's got a very kind of modern aesthetic to it. Um, definitely doesn't look like an old, outdated phone definitely fits in with like a modern workplace. Uh, on top of that, it's also got, like I mentioned with the 67, it's got really good sound quality. So I actually found that when I've used the handset on its own, uh, comparing it to some Yearlink phones I've used in the past, I actually found that just the sound coming from the handpiece had a bit more clarity in my opinion on the Fanville. Again, personal opinion. Uh, something else that I thought was uh, very handy was the use of a headset and the fact that you could use a number of different headsets and without an EHS adapter for this particular phone. So a lot of you out there that have used desk phones before have probably noticed that you may have to use an EHS adapter um, if you want to use the buttons on the headset. Well, I have used two different headsets with this phone, uh, one being a Yearlink branded headset, the WH62, and then a Poly wireless headset as well. I think it was the 4320, but I might be wrong. Uh, I was able to use both just plug and play straight to the heads, straight to the handset, and did not need any extra adapters. And the buttons on the phone, on the headset, sorry, still worked to function um, the phone features. So I thought that was something that's really streamlined, simple, easy to use. Um, again, there's not really too much to fault with with the phone itself. So the next series of phones we want to talk about briefly is the X series phones. So this is kind of like a you know stylish business phone as well as some call center type phones as well. So their flagship model for that is the X7 series or X7A. Uh, again, like the previous ones we've looked at, you've got built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is fantastic. You've also got video calling opportunities. So with the X7As, uh, you can either get a version that comes with a camera or one that you can buy a camera to use it later on. And then the other models in that series you can do video calling, but not where you use a camera. It would be your um, person on the other side. If they're using video, you can see them, but they wouldn't see you with some of the other models. Um, so there's a lot of handy features going down that route. One that I actually like quite a lot, which I want to talk about briefly, is the X210, which is this one right in front of me here. The thing that I like about this one is for people that are in call centers or at a reception desk, perhaps, uh, from our experience with customers, people tend to want to have a lot of buttons on the screen to be able to have a lot of quick options for speed dialing. So you, with the Yearlink option, people will generally need to get a, what they call an expansion module, which involves extra costs. Another bulky unit takes up more space. But for this model here, as you can see, we've got like a side screen over here that already has a whole lot of buttons set up that in total with across three pages, you've got 106 what they call DSS or DDS buttons to be able to get like some quicker speed dial or fast dial options. 
So I think that's a really cool handy and, and really unique feature. There's not too many phones out there I've seen where they've got this kind of built into the phone itself. It's generally always uh, an accessory that you need to add onto the phone. So to kind of condense it all into one, I think it saves space and just has, a, I guess, a bit, bit more of a better aesthetic look in my view. So I just want to briefly touch over some of the more entry-level models, which will be the X300 series. Again, just quite basic, you know, they're pretty low lines, anything between like one to four line phones. They've come in both uh, monotone and color screen options, so you've got some versatility there. Uh, they're all PoE enabled, but they do not have uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth options, but they come at a very good price point. So I would really recommend these phones for someone that's just trying to fill out an office, you know, you need a bulk amount of phones and you're trying to keep costs low, especially in this day and age. Uh, it'll be a great option to look at that, you know, it's basic, but the quality is good, sound still is good, and you can get like really good bang for your buck and good quantity for your money as well. So finally, I want to just briefly look at their wireless option, which is called a Linkfill W611W phone, which is this one right here. So again, really good for someone that needs a phone for portable use. Uh, it's also an IP67 rating, so you know it's kind of dustproof, waterproof, and drop proof as well. They say you can drop it from about, you know, just under two meters high without any damage. So really made for those kind of rugged uses as well. Uh, you've got, it's Wi-Fi 6 enabled as well. So it's, you know, something that's modern, they'll be able to connect to all new router networks as well. Uh, and again, like all the others have good quality, nice kind of big, pretty decent sized screen, easy to read. Uh, buttons are well responsive um, and again, just kind of a good quality. It's, oh yeah, it's also quite lean as well. And um, so even though it's rugged, it's not too fat. So it's not something that's bulky that might take up room in your pocket. So I think it's a good combination of being rugged, but both kind of slim line and stylish as well. So we have not yet to find any compatibility issues with these phones. They definitely work with the majority of networks out there. Uh, and on the soft phone or PBX side of things, you know, these guys are partners with some of the biggest guys in the business, such as 3CX and Avaya. So if you're someone using those systems, you know these are going to integrate really smoothly. And on top of that, there's heaps of other big players out there that Fanville work very smoothly with. And if you ever need to double check with compatibility, always go speak with your provider first. All right, guys, so there you have it. To conclude, the Fanville series is a fantastic new phone model that has been around for 20 years, but we've just decided to partner with them now. Uh, and they've given us a lot of great products to look at and even test out ourselves. They've got a good range of phones, anything from kind of cheaper entry level ones, which you can use for bulk purchases for an office, all the way up to high end enterprise phones that can use uh, Android operating systems for a multitude of applications and some video conferencing features as well. They work really smoothly with uh, headsets all using the handpiece itself. A lot of them have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, which is really handy, particularly for those with headsets. And they've even got some, you know, kind of original niche options like the one with the extra buttons or extra side screen I mentioned with the X210 over here. So you've got a multitude of options for all avenues, different price points, um, but it's something that we're really impressed with and we hope you will like it too. So guys, again, I'm Mikhail from Device Deal. Really hope you liked this video. If you liked it, be sure to give us a like, a comment, or subscribe, and feel free to ask us any questions you'd like about the phones or how they might integrate with your business, because we are more than happy to help at any time. Hope you have a good one.